all right guys before we start I want to tell you this is a before patch um, tips and tricks um, you can still make a lot of money I mean it's still 12k 12.5k but it's before patch um, there was a new update that just released that nerfed a lot of these missions into um, half of what they usually make I think it's because you know we're getting a stimulus packet of you know half a mil so that's why they are you know they're nerfing a lot of these missions so you get half the payout so again guys this is um, a video um, before the patch but you can still make a lot of money off of this because it's still one of the um, good way to make you know money really quick so I hope you enjoy what up guys welcome to the lightning zone today we're doing a money making guide part 5 if you haven't seen part 1 2 3 or 4 yet um, links will be in the description below or in the annotation above and let's get started so what this mission is it is called base invaders and you get it from Ron so keep calling him around level 27 and he'll give you base invaders so if you have multiple people calling him at once and one of y'all gets it um, you can just do it much quicker because you know it's just one person you know you have to delete the message then wait hours and hours I'm just playing. you only have to wait um, about five minutes I believe and he'll he'll um, let you get another mission so what you want to do now is put the mission on easy why easy you may ask because you're gonna need as much life as you can get because during this mission you're gonna be dying a lot especially if you're doing it with four players because you can be suicide in the beginning but we'll get to that point in just a little bit but you need a lot of life because you go inside a military base and sometimes um, if you coordinate your attack round, they start spawning behind you and you can get taken out pretty quick. So you need as much life as you can get, so put on easy. Before you even start the mission, make sure you're at the airfield because you want to do this mission as fast as possible and if you're halfway across the map, that means you have to drive all the way up there. So make sure you start up there first and once you're up there you can um, and finish the mission, they'll put you back in the same spot. So um, you can just keep calling them from that point and you can make a lot of money doing this instead of you know running across the map and trying to get to them it'll be much much faster i'm going to show you the fastest time for two people and how to do it for four people of course the four people is much easier but with two people it's still possible to do it um really quick but it's a little bit harder um providing that you're not trying to kill anyone so let's just start it with the two people so first of all you gotta get in the plane but now you can decide whether you want a guy to suicide because if someone's in the plane they suicide they actually spawn all the way over, over across in the base um, until they patch it but what you want to do is just suicide and you should spawn over there however me and my friend we know that if we suicide only one guy is going to be over there um, trying to solo the whole entire military base so the best thing for you to do is you know just go together but if you really truly want it you can just suicide if you want to do it like me right now like what I'm doing like both stay in the plane but somehow get in the base and um, do it quick uh, what you want to do is fly across the base go to the road that's um that's all the way near the um, runway and drop someone off as you can see Chris jumped off um, and what he's gonna do is he's gonna call his mechanic so yes you need a car or you can just pick a car off the, um, the road but you need a fast car because there's gonna be a hill up there that you can jump all the way up so what he's gonna do is he's gonna jump all the way up you're gonna see in a couple of seconds and as he's doing that I'm just gonna land the plane and after I land the plane we are gonna use the car and actually go around the base and plant bombs on the planes and so it'll be much much faster and plus if you're doing it right bullets shouldn't be able to kill you that um easily just remember to take out the convoy that's um stationed along each plane well you only have to do it for the first one because you're waiting for your partner to get the car inside the base because he might be messing up so just make sure that you're keeping yourself safe as you can just take them all out as you can see chris jumped over even though that was really really bad jump but yeah so my partner jumped over i'm getting in the car like i said and i'm just going to just throw sticky bombs at it after you got all your sticky bombs on the plane what you want to do is blow them all up at once you only want to do this because if you blow them one by one more people start spawning and it just messes up the spawn so make sure you blow them up all at once and after you blow them up all at once um just rush into the hangar with your car 
and rush into a helicopter but be very careful um, this is the risky part you can either decide to stop outside real quick and take out all the enemies or you can just rush in like me and Chris is doing and just rush towards the plane but remember to park the car next to the plane so they can't hit you but once you're inside um, the, the pilot should be safe but the passenger if you get to the side where it's open you might die like what my partner just did so really from here you're home free and all you have to do is deliver it to the airfield and you're pretty much done and now you probably want to know about the four people way and to be honest the four people way is pretty much the easiest slash the fastest way to do it because you have backup you know you, you got um more than one partner to support you and so what you want to do in the beginning is go to the plane and then just suicide in front of the plane um, but make sure someone's in the plane and you know just run into the blades or something just, you just need a suicide and at that point you're gonna spawn all the way over at the military base and you can do what I'm doing right here and just run you know to the around the fence but I advise you to blow up the fence and just go in because that will be much faster so this is where the coordinated attack starts to happen. If your attacks are coordinated, you'll finish this mission really easily and really quick. So what you want to do is get to the first plane with the two people inside the base. It could be three depending on how many people you kill, but I advise it's two. And the other two just take the plane and land to the second jet. So the two people inside the base just go to the first jet, um, take out the three guys there and make sure you take out this pilot because if you don't take out the pilot and he makes it to the hangar he will blow up the, the helicopter at the end so make sure you take him out you can even take him out first and then worry about the two guards second but just make sure that you take him out as you can see I did not take out the jet pilot so he's running to the hangar to sabotage the um, helicopter right now so pretty much if he gets in there you're pretty much screwed so make sure that you take him out that's the that's why i'm stressing that so much you gotta take him out and you're gonna be real upset once you fail the mission it's gonna say a laser would destroy which makes no sense so just make sure like i said take him out don't let him run and after you take out the first um convoy and you take out everyone the second plane should have arrived already and take, take out the second convoy and pretty much the only thing left for you to do is make sure you put the sticky bomb on all three jets and you just have a guy in a car running around do that or you can do it yourself but as long as all the convoys are taken out you are home free really just take out the last three guys in the hangar and go in the hangar and steal the helicopters as the last guy is going around playing sticky bombs on all the planes and as soon as the helicopter's out um, tell the guy who planted all the bombs to, to blow it because they're gonna start spawning and you won't even want to get out of there well pretty much you're done so somebody can stay in the base steal the tank do whatever you want but pretty much you are done with the mission but remember you may want to do the mission again so just ask all of your players to get out of there and go back to the um, airfield just so that you can spawn there and after you spawn there, you call Ron again, and after you call Ron, if he gives you the mission, you can start right there instead of, you know, driving across the map just to get to that point. But, nevertheless, you just got 25 grand, which is really good compared to the other mission I've been showing you. But, the other mission can also make you some money, this one can make you some money just in case you didn't get this mission, so you can mix it up a bit. But if you keep doing the, this mission over and over, you're guaranteed to be much faster than the other mission. Even if you have to wait for Ron to um, give you another mission because he gave you the wrong mission. Alright, so I hope this video helps you out, guys. Like this video if you like it. Um, comment if you have any questions or you want to give me some constructive criticism. But really, I know you're going to ask me a question because like, this mission is somewhat confusing sometimes because you can't get that coordinated attack correctly. So if you have any questions or you need some tips, just tell me and I'll help you out. Um, follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. I can, I can answer questions on there as well. Um, subscribe to my channel if you truly like my content. And that's it guys. We'll see you next time in the Lightning Show.